Hey everybody, welcome to this two minute techie tip on how to use Padlet, which is a discussion board in the classroom. Our goal is to improve teacher productivity and enhance student learning by focusing on communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking skills in the classroom. So let's get to it. Let's learn about Padlet, which is padlet.com, a free um, website and iPad app which ma makes it a device neutral um, application. By device neutral I mean that I can have it with a um, use it in a browser so any device Mac, PC, um, even iPad can work on it but it also will work specifically with um, an iPad uh, so I have lots of possibilities when I log in I create an account and I make padlets which really are discussion boards I have one going here that is called cool things about Google Drive and I currently have uh, one two three four five six responses um, I can use this as a way for students to answer questions um, listen to a video or a lecture read notes read a website and respond all in one place because I'm the creator of this I share my URL and let me double check that you can see this with everyone so uh, it, again, this is device neutral using a browser on any device if they go to padlet.com slash wall slash LC drive no login required for students and they can add to this discussion board. Okay, so think of this um, a discussion board is almost like um, post-it notes and I can move these post-it notes around um, some teachers uh, will have students use initials. Some students or teachers want to just post um, anonymously, which gives students who um, may not comment or talk in a classroom, it, it provides them with a, an opportunity to have a voice. Um, because I'm the creator of this Padlet discussion board, I get um, tools here, and this is my home page. We started on this page. I can create a new wall. They're called, they're called walls or discussion boards, so I can have an unlimited number of walls. Um, I have my username here. I can share or export my walls in many different ways. Um, it will go into my Google Drive. I can share it as an image. Um, great for just synthesizing discussion or um, getting uh, groups to discuss and then they post their comments or um, topics for discussions or questions which which is uh, something that we really need to focus on a place for students to ask questions about a topic or unit or uh, video or lecture um, and then it gives me tools for modifying um, I can change my wall layout I can change it um, to a bamboo background origami um, I'm gonna go back to my wood background um, but lots of options for changing um, modifying it gives me a link to my to the address to this wall um, but super simple two minutes to set up and no login required for um, students I'm gonna refresh the page and then we have a couple other posts that are here um, so it adds to my wall and the topic is cool things about Google Drive so I can see uh, someone post a I love how Google Drive is accessible anytime and anywhere. I won't lose my homework anywhere. It rocks for collaboration. Um, I can organize it any way I want. So even just having students collaborate and add can inform other students about, gosh, I didn't really think about, you know, the what this person said um, and students can even say they're there they have a question about this topic um, I'm going to show you what it looks like from an iPad um, and then um, we'll go from there 
Okay, so here's what it looks like from my iPad. Um, and still very similar, but if I just, the note here says double tap anywhere to post something. So if I double tap, I get a, um, looks like a sticky note. Your name, it says post title, and it says write something. Um, and here I can say, here I'm going to note that this is, um, these are my initials. Um, and I'm going to say commenting on the drive helps um, me learn. Um, and if you notice, I can upload um, items to this. I can put in video or drop a file or add a picture. Let's see if I can just get a picture in here. Um, I'll just choose existing. So I could add to um, here. All right. Have you had this yogurt? <laughs> I love um, Chobani yogurt. So I'm going to do an advertisement for Chobani yogurt in this. But my discussion board could include video um, or images that students are taking about the topic, either science experiment or um, reading from a book that from this page um, or this section of the book or video, take a picture of it and then say, I um, feel this was the essence of the learning experience. So, and of course I can just tap and I can delete or remove um, different posts and all class members can be responding at the same time. Okay, so here we have another user who added a picture, um, and we can add links to videos. So this can be a whole topic of discussion for homework, where an instructor or student can pose a question or give a link to a video, and a discussion can go on either inside or outside of class time, and people can share photos or uh, videos or just ask questions about a topic. So that's Padlet, and it is a device-neutral strategy for um, discussion, for conversations, to for students to pose and ask questions about learning. Um, so remember that with technology, we can remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and advance the way we teach and learn. Thanks for listening.